All right, let's go ahead and remove the shell. Uh, to remove the shell, you need to uh, unscrew, I believe it's five uh, Phillips screws in the back that's holding the shell together. Um, let's put a towel down on the table just to give it a little cushion, keep the, the shell from scratching on the table here. And here's our screwdriver, let's get to work. All right, our screws are removed here, and I um, want to make sure that we also remove the cover to the battery compartment and uh, VCD adapter. Now this uh, Saturn has also been fitted with a video CD card. Just want to maybe pull that out and um, just keep it over here for safe storage. Um, don't want that to get damaged in our work here. And I also want to be very cognizant of the wires that are running to this uh, this territory switch. Um, the last time I opened the Saturn was, gosh, I can't even remember how long ago. Um, at least, at least a good 10 to maybe 12 years ago. So um, I don't know what condition <laughs> you will find the uh, innards of this thing, but hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. But I do want to get myself a little prop here. Just gonna grab just a little cardboard box so I can prop myself here. Now. Um, I'm going to actually remove the uh, the nuts that are holding the the switch together here, just to be on the safe side. remove the switch itself. Set that aside here. Actually it's not too bad inside, gotta admit. Alright. So here's a good picture of the uh, innards of the Saturn after being kept un undone here for, or rather kept uh, closed up for a couple of years well over a decade. Uh, this is the throw switch I was talking about. The wires here are very fragile. Uh, I'm just going to kind of set this over to the side here. Hopefully we won't have to resolder any of these wires going on. Um, let me get a good focus here. Um, this is a um, Japanese Model 2 Sega Saturn. Uh, So-called Model 2 because the ribbon cable that goes from the motherboard to the CD drive has 21 pins as opposed to 20. Uh, the original launch model had 20 pins. Uh, also denoted as a Model 2 or, cir or a round button model due to the fact that the power and reset buttons are circle instead of oval as in the original model. And also there's only a power on LED whereas the uh, Revision 1 units, the launch units, had both a power on LED and a disk access LED that flashed. Uh, by the way, for those of you who are wondering, uh, the discoloration here on the shell is just due to oxidation of the specific plastic that they used for this mold. Uh, this is a problem that plagued uh, the, the Super Nintendo as well. Um, and this can be reversed by bathing this in a mixture of uh, hydrogen peroxide and UV light. And so uh, there's many procedures on YouTube to restore that. And I might do that at some future date, uh, or maybe just get a replacement shell altogether. So we'll see what happens, but um, wanted to kind of highlight a few things here. So um, this is that mod board I was talking about earlier, this guy right here. Um, <laughs> excuse the uh, the kind of haphazard way that this is wired in. Um, my soldering skills weren't exactly all that great many years ago. Um, but essentially this is what we're going to have to get rid of uh, because this is going to be replaced by the functionality of our mode. So uh, right now is simply just uh, hooked in through ribbon cables, one coming from the motherboard into the mod chip and the other from the mod chip back to the CD drive. Uh, we're going to unplug that side. Also you see here it's wired into the 5 volt power uh, connector of the Saturn. Uh, so we're going to remove that, remove the solder on this guy, and uh, remove the board so we can access the CD drive. Um, here's a jump cut so we can warm up the, uh, the soldering iron that we have here. 
All right. So this should be more or less warmer now. Let's see if we can move this power cord. Remove the ribbon cable from the CD drum, CD ROM drive, and the motherboard side, and set this aside for now. And we are going to be using this is the original ribbon cable. Remove that. Let's get it over here. So yeah, this is. Uh, mod chip that was installed way back in the day. I think this was purchased either from JNA Man or another Sega Saturn mod company way, way back in the day. Let's set this aside. Now I do want to clean up some of the solder here before we proceed. Let's make it nice and neat. All right, we got that whole solder blob uh, cleaned up from the terminal. Uh, this is the five volt lead um, on the power supply. Um, the charred areas here are just the melted plastic of the harness, uh, the metal contact that makes uh, contact with the power supply board, as well as down to the, um, the terminals leading to the, the bottom of the motherboard uh, are perfectly intact. So I just tested that with the voltmeter while I was cleaning this up. Um, let's go ahead and proceed with the rest of the install. All right, the next thing we're going to have to do is um, remove the CD uh, drive unit. Um, we also need to make note of what type of power cable that we have. Uh, this is a 5-pin power cable, signifying it's a 21-pin unit. Uh, 21 pins correspond to the number of pins in the data uh, cable from the motherboard over to the CD drive. So we are going to disconnect all power leads and all ribbon cables. This is a rubber coating that's just disintegrated over time. This goes right underneath the uh, CD drive tray, but that's okay because we're not going to use this anymore. The mode is going to totally supplement that. I'm going to go around here to the back and remove the two screws here that are holding the power supplies in place. Side. Also, there's one additional screw holding the power supply to the metal shielding. All right. And very gently, we're going to lift the power supply board out of the chassis. for now. Next we need to remove the metal shielding from the chassis and it's held together by eight screws, two up here along the side and up again so let's take care of that now. Let's take out the CD drive. screws holding the plate in. This last one's going to be a bit of a challenge. 
because it's kind of stuck right there in the uh, battery compartment. And this is just electrical tape that I put there eons and eons ago. Let's see if we can get this guy out of here. We're going to very gently remove the shielding. I don't think where to begin here. <laughs> All right, on this model Saturn, there's two additional screws here by the controller ports. They want you to move everything, even the power button.